Julie Gerling, Conservative MEP for the South West. How crucial is this funding that the um, MEPs here in Strasbourg have supported? It's very, very important because if you remember, we voted through a very, very revolutionary new scheme on, on fishing where we're saying no discards. Now, in order to do that, for, for fishermen to achieve that, they need to make changes to the gear that they use on their boats. They need to install things like CCTV. It's all very expensive. So what we've done today is we've effectively changed the fund. So the money's always been available, but what we're saying is it's no longer available for things like building new ships. So if you scrap a ship and want to build a new one, sorry, that's part of your business. This fund won't pay for that. What we did, that means we've got more money in there for the things that we do want to do to help deliver the common fisheries policy reform. And how significant is that, do you think, for South West fishermen, um, given con the, the concerns your constituents have also had about uh, discards and, and so forth? How significant is it to get the money to back that up? I think it's very significant because I've been hearing from fishermen for many years now that they, they need the funds to help them to do this. They want to do it. And I mean, no fisherman wants to throw fish back in the sea. Of course they want to do it. But they're not, they're not um, at all daunted by the idea but they need to be supported they need the money they need the equipment and this will help to deliver that there were concerns ahead of this vote uh, that as you say the fund could be used uh, to build new 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 ships especially in other parts of europe like france and and spain how important was it that that bit was defeated from this these proposals very important because the more if you got the Spanish fleet renewing itself on public money, so new big ships, they will simply fish more out of the ocean and our fishermen in the UK will be left unsupported. So it's really important, it's one of those situations where we've done something which doesn't affect the, e the UK on, you know, on first glance, but actually it does because, because by not providing that money for Spanish, Portuguese, French fishermen, we are saying, OK, that's more of a level playing field. And there's also funding, as I understand it, for the onshore industry, things like ports being redevelopment and retraining of fishermen into other careers. Is that something that you've been supporting? Yes, um, I support that. I, I'm pleased that huge amounts of money aren't going into that. I mean, there is going to be... There won't be enough money to build a whole new port. You know, some of the things that we've seen in the past, um, which is very discredited, where we have beautiful port facilities in parts of Europe and it's not actually used because there is no fish in the sea. So we won't be having any of that. But what we have got is a modest amount of money so that where we've got um, fishing facilities, they can be upgraded. And just finally, the, the process, really. What happens next? We're not quite at the end of the road, uh, but we're nearly there. Yes, we are nearly there, and it will accelerate because um, European Parliament's up for election in May. It, there will, a lot of effort will be put into getting all of this common fisheries policy legislation completely finished by March. So this was the last part of the jigsaw. This has now gone, we voted today to go into negotiation with the council. They already have their general approach, which effectively means they already know what they want. Parliament now knows what we want. We should be able to get that negotiated within a couple of months and then by 2014, mid 2014, we'll be we'll have the new policy in place.